So, gone are the days of the, of the Cadillac. And enter something I thought I'd never drive. A Ford. This is my new Ford Maverick. And it is a lot of fun. for about over a thousand miles now. This is the XLT model. This will not be a comprehensive review. It's just my thoughts and why I upgraded or downgraded, however you look at it. Well, to a truck instead of having a car. I had a car for, man, I've, only, I've had a car since pretty much the year 2000. This is the first truck I've had in a long time. And it is a ton of fun. So, this truck is also the first vehicle I've ever ordered brand new. Ordered it the way I wanted it, got it the way I wanted it, and it actually came out better than I could ever have dreamed of. It has really only three options that I added to it. We have a spray and bed liner back here, which is really nice. Uh, again, for a price Ford was offering and then going to do it somewhere else is basically the same so why not get it with it already done I added the power ports in the rear seat so I also have now a type C type A chargers and a household 110 outlet so I can just plug stuff in and well go to town with it all from the back seat it has uh does not have the in-bed lighting but does have well the rear lights that light up the bed when it's dark it does have a backup camera and it is overall just a really well built fun truck the other option i added besides the uh spray and bed liner and the power ports was the ford 360 co-pilot little little bit extra safety features today's day and age and the way people drive thought it was needed ample room especially for a big guy like myself six foot three and way too fat fits comfortably rides like an SUV again this is a crew cab truck it is a lot of fun it is really amazing again put in just over a thousand miles on this and I have been enjoying every minute of it now, of course, going to the XLT model, I did get these wonderful, like gunmetal gray rims that sets apart this black truck so, so beautifully. Ah, oh, love it. Interior is that kind of blue canvas with the orange stitching, and it has the kind of orange accents, and I love them. I, did, I wasn't sure if I was gonna like them, but I love it. It also has this kind of, Plastic but stone look uh, interior on the doors on trim for the dash. It looks amazing. I love it. Again, to be so happy with a vehicle since the Cadillac. I wasn't sure what was going to happen unless I got another Cadillac. I am extremely excited for this truck and what we're going to do with it. Does not have a power to lift gate, but that's fine. It's a pickup truck. Not supposed to have a lot of power or anything. It's supposed to just be a work and do what you need to do. Four and a half foot bed can carry up to 50, 1,500 pounds in the bed itself. And this is Ford's flex bed. Go online. They tell you how to do almost anything you might want to do with this truck. Came with 10 tie down spots to begin with. But they have instructions online for me to add more if I want to. The, the storage in this truck is just amazing. Not just the bed, but there's so many cubby holes. 
that I still don't know what to do with half of them. But then again, you never know. There's under seat storage already in this truck. I know a lot of trucks have nothing under the seat and you have to buy the under seat storage. Nope, this truck came with it. Which again, it's Ford's way of saying, we're gonna think of the consumer on this one. And they definitely did. I, wow, it is just so, so amazing. <clears throat> again, canvas seat, there are cloth seats. And coming from leather and heated seats, I don't have in here. I did in the Cadillac. I kind of like the the cloth seats as well, if not better, than I did my leather seats in the Cadillac. LED headlamps, auto high beams. This thing is just purely amazing. All right, here we go. So, as I was saying, the Cadillac is gone. It is a. Uh, it has served its purpose. It's getting old. What? Almost nine years old. Actually, nine years old. And had almost 200,000 miles on it. So, instead of getting another car that got really good gas mileage, I found this truck that also gets really good gas mileage. Drives really well. And that's because it is a not a traditional body on frame truck but rather a unibody truck and it's based on the ford escape suv so it rides like an suv feels like an suv and well it is just really fun to drive comfortable to drive now I don't have all the amenities like I used to, the leather seats, the all the fun stuff. But I have other amenities that are actually much nicer. I have Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. Things I never had before. Which gives me, well, Gives me everything I need as far as like maps, route, uh, routing, music, streaming. Though to note, you should have an, an unlimited data plan when you're doing anything that involves <laughs> streaming. The truck did come with uh, three months free of three gigabytes of Wi-Fi data. But let me tell you, three gigabytes doesn't last long when you're streaming maps and music. It went pretty quick. So yeah, this thing drives less like a truck, more like an SUV really. I do like sitting up much higher. It's been a long time since I've sat and driven a vehicle that, well, sits nice and high. You feel like you see things a little better and you have a little more control over the road, I guess. And over the vehicle. Again, this thing isn't the, it's not a race car. It's not the fastest thing in the world, but it does have the EcoBoost uh, two liter four cylinder that is turbocharged from Ford and it is just an amazing vehicle so far I've had again a lot of fun with this it is a this is a well driving vehicle I uh, definitely I think I made the right choice with this and that to me that's what is that's what's important is picking a good vehicle that suits your needs and suits your you know what you what you plan to do with it again this is a pickup truck so I do I think it'll be good not just for myself but for me and my brother uh, you know dump runs if we gotta go pick stuff up from Home Depot see we've both been car people he's got a Honda Civic I had my Cadillac you know which was an ATS four-door car 
Now on that, I did get 32 miles a gallon, 30 to 32 miles a gallon on average. And so far in this truck, I am ready for this pickup truck. I'm getting 27 to 30 miles per gallon on average, which as you know right now, gas is not cheap. Definitely has enough power. It can uh, haul 1,500 pounds in the bed or can trailer uh, 2,000 pounds because this is only the front wheel drive version. Didn't feel I needed the four wheel drive or all wheel drive and didn't feel like I needed a lot of the extras that you could have got with this vehicle. I decided to go, well, kind of simple. Don't need a lot. And that's less to break going down the road. Now Ford is gracious. I mean, I, I, again, I'm driving a Ford. Holy crap. I'm a Chevy guy. I'm a GM guy. I'm a Cadillac guy. And I feel like Ford kind of went out above and beyond what they needed to because they're going to do the basic maintenance on this vehicle up to 75,000 miles as tire rotations and oil changes. And they're covering this vehicle for six years and 150,000 miles. The car will be paid off by that. But yeah, Ford's still going to warranty bumper to bumper literally everything except for the wear items, brakes, oil. Little things like that. The transmission goes up. And now we'll there is a deductible at that level. So it'll cost me $100. And I replaced a transmission in a Cadillac. That's $5,000. So as you can see, it's not uh, necessarily apples to apples, but it is, uh, it is good. I mean, look at this thing. It looks cool. And I like that. So, this has been, well, this is my short review of my new 2022 Ford Maverick. All right, guys, that's what I got for you today. See you soon. Peace.